In this tutorial today, you will learn how to design a birthday flyer for social media posts in Adobe Photoshop. If you are old yet, thanks, and if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. Without any further ado, let's get started. Here I'm using 1080 by 1080 pixels, and these are the results I'm going to use in this tutorial. And over here is our working area. So go to your test document to copy the color code over here. Now go to your solid column. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Create a new layer. And select your brush tool. You can increase your brush size. Now we are going to create a color we are going to use now position where you are going to apply so i'm going to apply it at the center here then you drop your pen tool then go to your ellipse tool and you are going to create a cycle hold your sheet key to create a perfect cycle Then place it at the center. Apply the white color to it. Then after applying the wrap, then you drag it down. Then click OK. Rotate it a little bit. Now we are going to duplicate it. Ctrl plus J to duplicate, or you drag it where I drag it there. Now, create another color to it and adjust this one. Something like this, okay. Now drag it up. We are going to reduce the size. So like this. Then I'm going to import this image down to our designing area and reduce the size. Drag this one down. Scale it a little. Now, right click on the image and rasterize it. Go to image adjustment and then desaturate it. Now apply level. Then create a clipping mask to the image so that the adjustment you are going to apply here will not apply to the main background. So you can see how the image is transforming color. Follow the process. Now you can see the differences now on and off. All right. Great a layer mask to the image. Then I'm blend it. Something like this. Now double click
Now reduce the shape. Okay. Then also we are going to open the smart object and change the color to something like this. Now close this and save it. Now we're going to apply blur. Then increase the ratio. Okay. Also duplicate it. Take it over here and rotate it. All right. We are also going to draw the circle and this one duplicate it. Then change the color of this one to white and then position it like this to create the design then select the tool and drag it up over here alright so we have the same color better now. Then this one I'm going to change the color. So let me know how you see this color. The original color is the one I changed now. So between these two colors, the former one and this one, then let me know which one you prefer. Then also this one, I'm going to reduce the size, then position it over here. Now, we are going to desaturate it, change the blending mode to luminosity, and reduce the opacity. So something like this. Now we are going to duplicate this one. Control to J to duplicate and drag it over here. Select it, right click and flip it horizontal. Now we are going to create a text over EM because we want the text to be behind the image. Scale it out. So okay like this. Then reduce the opacity. Then we are going to change this the color, the font color, then use this color over here, then apply it. Now we are going to adjust the opacity. I think this is okay like this.
Now we are going to drag it up over here and duplicate it. Bring it down. So we are going to do like this until we cover the whole page. Alright, so what I did, I have to group it, then convert it to smart objects and duplicate it. Now I'm going to bring this one down. So it's okay. And the next thing I'm going to continue with the test. Change the font color to white. And the font I'm using here is Commissioner. And this one, the font here is Austin Pen. Something like this. All right. Then use your arrow key to adjust it. Then copy the name. Then duplicate it. Now we are going to drag it down. And spread it out. Select your test to Ctrl plus A to highlight it and Ctrl plus V to paste. Over to your test tool and copy this one. Then we are going to duplicate this one. Reduce the font size. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Use your arrow key then to move this one up. Then I'm going to copy this one before the date. Select your test tool. Then paste it. using regular because I don't want it to be more bold like others. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then deselect Ctrl plus D. Reduce the font size. So after the adjustment, the next we are going to place our dates. So now we are going to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Select your rent angle. Then drag it up, change the color to white. Then I'm going to unlink it and create a shape. The 
and also over here something this way then select your text to control plus view to paste then we are going to highlight this letter th and apply superscript then change the font color to black and make it bold then move it over here duplicate it and copy this one select the test tool and highlight it Ctrl plus V to paste then reduce the font size then hold your shift key while you select it So we have adjusted it. Now hold your shift key while you apply this adjustment. Then increase the font size. Right, so now I'm going to copy this one once again. Select your test tool. Then I'm going to paste it. And change the font color to white. Then use medium size. And highlight this letter TH. Apply super script. Now open the character spacing. Reduce the size. Then increase the character spacing. Now I'm going to rotate it. Rotate it. And I'll leave it somewhere around here. So, if you want, you can replace this with something else. Then create the cycle. Now apply the white color. So now we remove the color because we don't need it. And apply a stroke line. So now we want to create a round test. So remove the character spacing to 0%. Now something like this. Create a space between. 
Then I'm going to highlight it and reduce the font size. Something like this, 5%. Then I'm going to paste it around. So something like this. Now I'm going to reduce the font size so that all letters can fit in. Then highlight it and then reduce the font size. So this is too small. Then I'm going to apply 4%. Then I'm going to make it 4.5%. I think this will be okay. 4.25% no 4.6% I think this is also much better so now so this is the color and rest cycle we use and then so later I'm going to remove this one because I don't need it anymore. So what I need is this one. Then select the cycle and delete it. So if you want the cycle, then you can leave the cycle and place a, something inside the cycle. So this is the end of the tutorial. Please let me know your opinion on this design. In all that you have seen here, then so what is your opinion? Let me know. Like the cycle, should I leave the cycle in, in, in the middle of the round test or something like this? So let me know your opinion in the comment section. Thanks for following.